All right, here we go. We've got a Titan 410 right here, and I've got a Titan 440 right here, and the cost difference right here is uh, $819 for a Titan 410, and a Titan 440 is $967, and so there is a little bit of savings if you purchase a Titan 410. Now, a Titan 410, what I have to say is this is your basic stripped-down model. You don't have a lot of parts um, that are going to break down like other sprayers do. It have more electronic components and more parts that could break, so if you want something that's just going to be reliable day in and day out with not a lot of moving parts or not a lot of electrical components, components, this is going to be the sprayer for you. But if you like some of those bells and whistles, things that make um, airless sprayers more convenient to use, a little bit easier to use and more efficient, then the 440 would be for you. And we're talking just small sprayers right here. These are entry level professional sprayers. So a 410 right here has just got a basic a pressure control knob. It's got an on off switch, prime valve, uh, intake tube, prime tube. It's got a spot where you oil, just manually put in your oil in it and it's got its manifold filter right here and its lower end right there it doesn't come standard with the hea gauges um, that's a pressure gauge i put pressure gauges on all my airless sprayers that don't have a digital readout as a gauge so this is the 410 it's basic uh, just a basic unit at a very affordable for price for an airless sprayer now i've got a titan 440i which is very comparable to the 410 that i've had for over 20 years years and it still runs and it still runs great it was a great pump that still functions so um, there it is stripped down unit now we've got a titan 440 right here that's got um, some bells and whistles that we'll talk about right now so for $148 more, well, what do you get? So one, of, I'll, I'll tell you one of the things I really do like and some of the things I don't necessarily like when it comes to the bells and whistles added on this. This has a push, re, push ball valve right here, and that is a, it's a really great, um, really great thing they've added onto this sprayer. What happens is when these sprayers have sat for a long period of time, or sometimes even for a short period of time, the lower ball in there will corrode and stick, and then the, the sprayer won't prime. If it sits for a long period of time, that will happen. It will also sometimes get debris caught in there and stuff, and that, that ball won't seat properly, it won't prime. In the olden days, before we had a push ball um, pusher down there, we would just take a hammer, we would hit it on the face of the um, lower end right here, and that would release that ball. But of course, you're gonna have employees banging on that thing extremely hard, messing it up, it eventually gets all dented up because everybody thinks they gotta drive in a 16 penny na nail through this thing, and so it gets really messed up. You could even crack the face or crack the ball. So it's, it's, uh, it's a trick that we use, a hammer, but you gotta be extremely careful. What happens with this, this pusher right here, if it's stuck, the ball's stuck, all you do is push that, it will release it. If something's stuck in there, it kind of taps on that ball, pushes it up and down. So it's a that is a great added feature and almost makes it worth the $148 in itself. So um, great to have. I just like to make it a habit before I start to use my sprayer, just hit that, make sure the ball's released, then I'll turn the sprayer on. So that's one of the components that's really cool about the um, Titan 440. I'll show you here. This has a lot of the same um, components that the 410 does. You got an on off switch, you've got a pressure control valve, you got a prime valve, intake tube, um, prime tube. So it's basically the same. One of the differences right here, we've got just a basic pressure control knob right here. It just turns back and forth to control your pressure. We have a pressure control knob here with a little electronic um, box component thing. We're on on off switch. It has two lights, it's got a, a motor running indicator light and it's got a pressure indicator light that gives you an idea what pressure the pump is actually running at. It doesn't tell you the pressure but it gives you three um, ranges that it's running at and this is also um, a light. Um, these LED lights will flash certain flashes if there's a problem with the pump and you can look up the codes what it is. So that is an added feature those electronic um, lights right there but once again those are components that actually can burn 
worn out that this thing does not have. But I, I never really ever have used these lights, never looked at them, never cared about them. So it's not a feature that I really care about at all. The pressure control valve turns a little bit easier than this one does. You know it has an arrow, you know exactly where the high pressure is and the low pressure is. This one, you just keep turning it and it's just, it's a little bit different. And I don't think it's that really that big a deal. But I'll talk about the self-cleaning uh, feature on this that this pump has that this doesn't have now. So I'm gonna talk about the, the it's not self-cleaning, but it's, it's the rapid clean feature. If you turn your dial down into the blue, have the arrow into the blue, the pump actually pulsates when you um, are actually cleaning it, running water through your hose and through your gun. And it, it kind of goes da 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 It goes up and down, so it makes the cleaning process a little bit faster. It's not you know a make or break feature that I really would care about if I wanted to save some money. It is a feature that we always do use when we're cleaning our pump because it does make it clean a little bit faster and that's another one of the added features to the 440 impact. Now I'm going to show you one of the features that I don't really care for, don't like, and that is the oil reservoir feature. The 410 right here, you just um, take a bottle of oil, you just squirt it right here. You have no idea whether it's it's full or not until the oil starts to spill out the face right here, and then you know that your packing area is full of oil. So you just squirt a little bit of oil in there, and that's something you always want to do to maintain your sprayers, keep them running properly. You want to lube them every day. This feature you don't have to go run out to your vehicle grab that bottle of oil because your oil right here you have a reservoir I'm going to fill this reservoir up I'm going to take a screwdriver undo this I can actually see if I can do undo it with my thumb you can undo it with a coin I don't have a screwdriver on me I'll use a key so so there you have it you just release the lid now I'm just gonna pour oil down right inside here and load that up full of oil. Now I have oil that's in this reservoir. I do have a sight glass right here. I gotta say that sight glass does not function for me at all. When um, I can never see in there, it's so dark, I can't tell you know, where the oil is on that sight glass, but I can look down in here and see whether it's full. Now, once this reservoir is full, all I gotta do, there's a push button right here. This push button, you push it and it's gonna squirt oil down into your packings. So I don't have to have oil with me. Every time I go to use my sprayer, I'm just gonna hit it two or three times. That's gonna lube the packing and you're ready to go, your spare's lube. What I don't like about it is I don't know if it's actually squirting anything in there or not, I have no idea. I just assume it is. I assume the reservoir is full, I can look down in there and if it's full, I assume it's squirting oil in there and so I've like squirted, squirted, squirted and all of a sudden you'll eventually see it start once again, pour down the face of your lower end, then you actually know it's full. I don't really care you know, for this oil feature because I don't think the sight glass functions very well. I never know whether it's full or not. I just like to know exactly that I'm squirting some um, oil inside there and then I'm getting oil in my packings. All right, now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the manifold filter on the Titan 440 versus the um, Titan 410. So the 410 has a really small manifold filter right here on the side. You do have to use a wrench to get that manifold filter off. I know this, the manifold filter on the 410, you do not have to remove it every single time you clean the sprayer. It's very rare that you do actually have to clean that uh, manifold. The manifold filter on the R, uh, the 440 impact is a large oversized manifold filter which has a lot more surface area but unfortunately you do have to clean it every single time you use the sprayer because paint gets built up in the back of the manifold filter and no matter how long you run water through it no matter how clean the water looks you can take this filter off and there's still paint inside there and that will cause a big problem the next time you go to use the sprayer because this paint will bleed into the the other paint and you'll get spits of this paint you know mixed in with the other paint and i know that from experience going from a white door to a red door or from a red door to a white door and getting red spits in the paint so you got to remove this it is a removable by hand you don't have to have any tools to remove it so it just twists off by hand so the manifold filter having to come off every single time you use a sprayer that's probably the feature i dislike the most on the titan 440 impact because it's just 
mess. So you've got to tilt the sprayer back on its butt, remove the filter, take it out um, and clean it all by hand, put it back on, and then you begin the cleaning process. It, but it is an oversized filter, um, and I'm not sure how much benefit there is you know, to having an oversized filter. So both uh, sprayers come with a Titan RX-80 gun, but the 4410 comes with a four-finger gun, which I really do not like a four-finger gun. I would never use a four-finger gun. I got videos discussing that because they just don't, um, you don't have control of the gun itself because four fingers are on the trigger. The 440 Impact comes with a um, two-finger gun, and I would only want a two-finger gun. I do like the RX Pro gun, so I switch out all my sprayers with the RX Pro gun because it has a lighter trigger pull, but at least the 440 Impact does come with a um, two-finger gun. Now, I do have videos showing you how you can actually cut down a four-finger gun into a two-finger gun, so it's not like the gun is um, unusable. It just takes about 15 minutes to modify that gun gun to make it a two-finger gun. So we got the Titan 440. This also has an HEA gauge on it. Once again, the Titan 440 Impact or the 410 does not come with an HEA gauge. Those I actually put on there myself. There's something, it's kind of a little bit insignificant maybe, but the 440 Impact comes with three cups. So you have a cup for your intake tube, you have a cup for your oil, and then you have another cup that you can actually put your um, prime tube in. I keep both of them in the um the the larger cup and this is a larger cup right here so it's going to hold more water or liquid or whatever's in your sprayer um that would actually be running out of the sprayer into that cup less likely to spill it this is a really short cup kind of an insignificant thing but it could be you know a big deal to you if you wanted a large cup or three cups on your sprayer so there you have it, some of the major differences between a Titan 410 and a Titan 440 Impact. And you know, it's kind of, you know, do you want to save $148? I do think that um, the additional $148 to get a two-finger gun and getting this pusher release um, valve that hits that ball, you know, kind of is worth the $148. But you know, if you're on a tight budget, you can get a professional sprayer for $148 less right here. Some Something that's going to last you, you know, many years. Like I say, the Titan 440i is extremely similar to the 410, closer to the 410 than it is the 440 Impact. And I've got one that's over 20 years old and it's still functioning to this day. If you've I've used either one of these sprayers, you have an opinion about them, leave it down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you have to say, whether you would be willing to take the 440 Impact for a little bit more money or for a little less money, the 410. Um, um, Titan sprayer. Uh, let us know down in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I come out with more videos, help help videos, review videos, how-to videos. We'll see you next time. Paint Life TV out.